Hi everybody. This video will show you some of the technology that you will need to use during the assessment test. The screens that you will see in this video are on a computer. If you are working on an iPad, a tablet, or a phone, you will see something different on the screen. We hope that you can complete the assessment on a computer because it's much easier for you that way. As you can see, this is my Zoom screen. Right now, I am recording myself as Professor Joy on my computer. You can also see the picture with the name an ESL student. We are in the main Zoom session. Right now, if you look down in the bottom left corner, you can see unmute. There's no sound. You see a red line through the microphone, so that means the sound is off. My video is also off. There's a red line through start video. So you can only see a picture of me and not video. You will need to turn both of these on when you come into our Zoom meeting. You click here to unmute yourself so people can hear you, or you can click here to unmute yourself so that people cannot hear you. You click here to start video. So, hi, I'm Professor Joy. I'm going to turn these off for now, but that's how you do it. Once again, Look down in the bottom left corner to click Start Video or to Stop Video. Click in the bottom left corner to Unmute and to Mute. Now I'll show you a couple of other features in Zoom. First of all, I want to show you the Chat feature. When you click on this icon, your chat box will appear on the right side of the screen. We will ask you to practice this during the meeting. It's important that you know how to use the chat box because we will put the link to the assessment test in the chat box. It will look something like this. If someone sends a link in the chat, it shows up over here on the right side. Make sure you can find chat at the bottom of your Zoom screen so that you can open the link to the assessment test. You might have to copy this link and paste it into a new browser window, but most students can just click on the link in the chat box and it will open up in a new window you'll see a screen like this. Another thing I want to show you is a Zoom breakout room. During your session, the professor will move each student from the main Zoom session into a private room. These private rooms are called breakout rooms. The professor will tell you when you will be moved into a breakout room. Let's see what it looks like. I'm going to open a breakout room now. Sometimes the breakout rooms open very quickly for students. If you don't have a strong internet connection, it can take a little while. You'll see joining room one. Uh, be patient and you'll be moved into a breakout room. So right now I'm in Zoom room number one. When you're in a breakout room, click on view to go to gallery view. To see the other people in the breakout room, you will usually be with an assistant who will help you in the breakout room. The last thing I want to show you in this video is how to share your screen. During the test, 
we need to see your screen so we can see your answers and help you with questions. After you go into the breakout room, look for this green button at the bottom of your Zoom screen. Click on Share Screen. If you're on a computer, this is what you might see. Look for a picture that has a blue box around it. For most computers, the default option is to show your whole desktop. That's what we want to see, your whole desktop. On my screen, it says Desktop 1. On your computer, it might say My Screen, or it might have a different name. But we want you to choose the picture that will show us what is on your whole screen. Down here in the right corner of the Zoom pop-up window, I can see a blue button that says Share. When I click on the blue Share button, you can see my whole screen. At the top of my screen, it now says Stop Share in red. When I want to stop sharing my screen, I just click on this red button at the top. I will go back to the breakout room screen. Let me show you one more time. Click on share screen. Look for desktop one or my screen. Click on the blue share button at the bottom right. To stop sharing your screen, click on Stop Share at the top. That's the last Zoom feature I want to show you now. Just as a reminder, the best way and the easiest way for you to complete ESL Remote Assessment is on a computer if you can. Using a desktop computer, a laptop computer, or a Chromebook is best. You can use an iPad or a tablet but it will be a little bit harder for you to read and write for us. Using a cell phone to complete ESL remote assessment is really not a good idea. It's not a good idea because it's very hard to see and read everything, and it's also hard to type into a phone. If you are on a phone or an iPad, we will do everything we can to help you but you might want to think about making an appointment to complete ESL remote assessment on a day when you can use a computer, a laptop, or a Chromebook. Thanks for watching.